So I know one of the most complicated parts about getting the Siri proxy up and running is generating the fake certificate. So I was going, I, I, I'm going to make a video here that actually demonstrates the process on how you do that. Uh, there's instructions going up soon on the GitHub repository, uh, but this will just demonstrate those instructions in action so that you can see uh, what goes into it. Uh, it's actually pretty simple. Uh, what you do is you first open up a terminal, and you can do this by going into Spotlight and typing terminal, uh, and then you navigate your way to your Siri proxy, wherever you've uh, put Siri proxy at. Um, so, uh, you'll need OpenSSL to do this. OpenSSL actually comes with Macs. Uh, all this is happening on a Mac. Uh, if you don't have a Mac, you're kind of on your own. Uh, but OpenSSL is available for pretty much any operating system out there. So, uh, you'll first need to find your OpenSSL directory. I'm pretty sure that it's the same place on every Mac out there. Uh, and for me, it's system, library, OpenSSL, misc, ca, well, it's OpenSSL. Um, and then you'll also need the ca.pl file, um, and that's inside misc uh, in your OpenSSL folder. Um, so. Uh, first thing you do uh, actually is uh, you create yourself a folder um, for your CA. Uh, MKDIR CA is what I usually do, and then CD CA to move into that uh, folder, into that directory. Uh, so now uh, put in system library OpenSSL misc uh, slash ca.pl, just as you see it, dash uh, new CA. This is to create a new certificate authority. Uh, you can give it the default file name, that's fine, but you do need to give it a passphrase. Uh, for me, I'm just going to do hello. Uh, it doesn't need to be anything super secret. Uh, you're not going to share this with a lot of people. You're not going to be running a certificate authority for other people, so really doesn't matter. Um, you know, all the default on this is fine. Uh, locality name, organization name, organizational unit name, whatever. Common name. This is an important one. You do actually have to give it something here, uh, and it has to be something, you know, it doesn't really have to be that meaningful, um, but I would say go ahead and be like, my fake CA. Email address you can leave blank, challenge password you can leave blank, optional company you can leave blank. Uh, now it just wants that passphrase again, hello. And now here's your certificate. Um, so, now you've created your certificate authority. Now what you have to do is actually create, oh, and if you look in this folder, you'll see there's now a demo CA. That's where your certificate authority is. So now you just have to create the certificate for Gazzoni. Uh, that also is pretty easy. You just go back and instead of doing new CA, you do new REQ for new request. Uh, it needs uh, another uh, passphrase. Uh, you can just give it the same one if you don't want to remember anything. So I'm just giving it hello again. AU's fine, some states fine, whatever, whatever, whatever. Common name. This is really important. You must put gazoni.apple.com for this. This is for your fake Gazoni certificate. Um, if you happen to have a certificate authority of your own, like you know, if you run VeriSign or something, you can have you could totally issue yourself a gazoni.apple.com certificate that'll work on anyone's phone. Uh, but that would probably be illegal, um, and it would certainly be against everything that uh, certificate authorities stand for. Um, so, probably not going to work for you. Uh, we're just we're creating our own fake certificate authority. So now we've created the request. Now all we have to do is sign it. Um, so we go back up here. We do our ca.pl. We type sign. Uh, and it says enter the passphrase for demo ca. So this is our first one again, hello, um, it says it's being created, blah, 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 yes, that's fine, yes, that's fine. Now we've signed our certificate, so we have our valid certificate. Uh, the next thing that we have to do is we actually have to go remove the, um, the passphrase, um, just because uh, uh, the, the Siri proxy doesn't handle passphrases uh, on, certificate, uh, on certificates, and that's pretty easy. Um, you just type open SSL RSA dash in and then new key dot pem that's our encrypted private key uh, and then key out I think oh nope not key out just out uh, 
server.passless.key. It'll ask us for the passphrase. We'll give it hello again. Uh, that's the passphrase from the second time we went through. Um, so if you have two different passphrases, you use that. Uh, now we've created server.passless.key. It's unencrypted. There's our private key. Um, I'm not going to actually be using the CA for mine, so, you know, the fact that I just broadcasted my private key to the whole internet is, uh, that's okay. But you don't want to share this with other people um, if you can if you can help it. Uh, so, anyway, now that we've got that, um, we would just uh, copy our cert, our new cert, to server.passless.crt. Uh, and now that we've got server.passless.key and server.passless.crt, those are what we need inside our Siri proxy folder. So we would uh, move server.passless star, you know, both of them, uh, one directory up. And now we have in our uh, Siri proxy server, we have those. The last part of this is that we have to go back into CA uh, back into demo CA um, and in here we have a CA cert.pem file so if you go to the location where this is you know in my case it's Dropbox github Siri proxy CA demo CA so if you go there in finder and um, I might actually be able to yeah I'm just so you go there and there uh, in Finder, you take this cacert.pm and you email it to yourself, uh, assuming that your iPhone has access to your email. Uh, once you get it on your iPhone, once, you, once your iPhone gets that email, this will be attached to it. You just open that, it'll give you some scary warnings, as it should, uh, but you just accept it. You, you, you might have to type in your passphrase if you have one on your, or your passcode if you have one on your um, iPhone, uh, and uh, that's that should be it, honestly. Um, once that's in there, uh, you should be able to start up the Siri proxy. And assuming you're redirected, redirecting your Gazoni traffic to Siri prox or, or to your computer that's running the Siri proxy, uh, everything should go well. So good luck.